My name is Robert Jones. I'm the bar manager for Saffron and World Street Kitchen. And we're going to be making some uh, cocktails with Summit Southern Cape Sparkling Ale, uh, part of their Union Series. Um, combination of a lot of hops from the Southern Hemisphere. I like this for cocktails. It's nice and dry. It's got a good amount of effervescence. It allows a lot of room to add some sweetness. Uh, the first cocktail we're going to make is uh, called the St. Paul Sour. It's a classic whiskey sour variation with some uh, local ingredients. I'm using the Southern Cape, obviously. We're also going to use uh, Minnesota 13 from Eleven Wells Distillery in St. Paul, Minnesota. This cocktail has an egg white, uh, some ginger, uh, an apricot liqueur, which uh, plays really well with the whiskey and the beer, some lemon juice. So we're using ginger in this, uh, ginger syrup. Uh, ginger syrup is uh, just raw ginger juice and sugar. It adds a little bit of heat, a nice spiciness. Plays really well with the hoppiness. Um, also with the apricot, apricot and ginger is amazing together. Um, and this, uh, this white whiskey has a lot of vanilla notes to it. Um, works really well in conjunction with everything there. The egg white, uh, super important for a sour. Uh, dries the cocktail out, adds a nice silky texture. So the next cocktail we're making, um, again, trying to keep it local and Minnesotan, uh, making it of shandy with uh, some watermelon in. Uh, I guess we'll call it the, uh, the Southern Cape Shandy or Southern Cape Watermelon Shandy. It's up to you. Fresh watermelon juice, uh, break down a watermelon, actually compress it. Breaks down the capillaries and the cellular walls. The watermelon makes it nice, bright, and red instead of uh, the pale pink that you might see when you actually cut a watermelon open. A little bit of sugar uh, in the form of simple syrup just to fatten it up. We're also using a Cocchi Americano, which is an aperitif wine um, from Italy. And uh, we're using a Far North Spirits Solvay Gin. Peculiar, interesting gin. A lot of different botanicals than a regular gin would have. Just gotta short shake this. So that watermelon's got a lot of water content in it. This one you can actually just roll. Unbelievably refreshing. The bitterness with the watermelon works perfectly, I think. Yeah, watermelon and hops is so good together. I had no idea. Balanced. Watermelon really comes through without being overwhelming. The beer comes through on its own at the finish. So this is a good summer drink, for sure. So uh, the last cocktail we're doing today is called the Hop Hat Rattler. Um, it's uh, got some grapefruit. Honey, a little bit of lemon juice to add a little bit more acid to that grapefruit. It's a little sweet right now. We're getting Texas grapefruits, uh, rubies, so they're sweeter than what we get in the winter. We'll start with a half ounce of honey syrup, quarter ounce of lemon juice, two and a half ounces of grapefruit. Throw our salt in there. She had a decent amount of salt. Salt and grapefruit's really nice together. Just a half ounce of bourbon. Bump up the proof. And roll this. Good. This one likes the beer a little bit more than the other ones. So we're gonna go about five ounces. Garnish with a grapefruit peel expressed and inserted. This one's a little bit sweeter. The salt and the grapefruit's awesome. Hops and grapefruit, it's super classic. The bourbon's there to just bump the proof up. Uh, bourbon and honey, perfect together with grapefruit. Classic combination again. Salt makes it almost like you just want to keep drinking it. It plays with that bitterness. You just can't put it down. So three great summer beer cocktails using Southern Cape from Summit, all using local ingredients, which I think is amazing. Fresh, local, good beer, good drinks. Come on down to Saffron and try them if you'd like. Otherwise, you, we're going to post the recipes online for you. You can try making them at home. Have a good summer. <laughs>